Hey everybody, 8 Josh here and welcome back to Wildlife World and the first episode after the Arctic Pack DLC came out. So of course we have to take advantage of the Arctic Pack and we're starting off with the a polar bear habitat. Now this is going to be a little bit shorter time lapse than normal because I kind of, I actually, I stopped sort of building uh, kind of as I was recording because so okay here's the thing the polar bears and the arctic DLC are awesome but they gave the polar bears a habitat size of 12,000 square meters so it's that's a gigantic gigantic habitat uh, the one I end up building here is about seven and a half thousand so a little over half the size and it's just it's way 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 too big and I I read on the forums uh, lead manager <laughs> lead community manager Bo said they're actually looking into changing that and making it more in line with other big animals in the game like the elephants rhinoceros all those uh, so I didn't want to do too much with the habitat because I have a feeling actually I'll end up completely redoing it it's just it's just kind of how how it worked out and I'm actually like right here because the habitat's so big I had to, yeah, I had to place so many coolers everywhere and I was like you know what it'll be cool since we're doing an arctic area of the zoo to actually have snow and it just requires so many of those coolers and uh, it looks a little weird at first because the coolers haven't had a chance to properly get down the temperature so you get those like little weird circles of just snow but uh, yeah so I started kind of building out what was gonna be a building around this little viewing area so if you kind of missed it at the beginning the path goes over the water comes down and so you have this like underwater viewing area which is a pretty fun cool little technique I did back in the beta um, I did a short little tutorial on how you can do that uh, definitely recommend checking that out if you you know want to make underwater viewing galleries for yourself in your own zoos but yeah so again these are pieces from the Arctic pack they're sort of like a Nordic kind of theme which they're really really cool and I like them a lot um, but like I said I I kind of have a feeling I'm gonna end up just redoing everything with this habitat because they're going to update the habitat size the problem is I don't know when that's gonna be and I thought about doing so there's a setting you can do in sandbox mode where you can disable animal wellness so that your animals are just happy all the time right which is cool except for like I like doing the management aspects of the game even though we're playing in sandbox mode I I've said this in my live streams don't really know if I have said it in a video but uh, I initially wanted to do the series in franchise mode but the reason I chose to go with sandbox is because I didn't want to be at the mercy of the animal market and from my playtime in beta and from what I've uh, seen even now some of the big animals like the elephants giraffes lions all those all those you know kind of quote unquote big ticket animals they're hard to find for cash you can only get them for conservation credits and they cost like tens of thousands of conservation credits so they're really difficult to get. I didn't want to have to deal with that. I just wanted to be able to build the habitats and get the animals that I wanted to get into the zoo. So that's the reason why I'm doing sandbox mode instead of franchise. But I still like having to like manage the animal's welfare. Actually, I, I kind of like enjoy that more than managing the zoo. We still have to manage the zoo a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously we don't have to worry about money, but managing the animals is still something I want to be a part of this uh, zoo in this series. 
So I didn't want to, I'm, I'm glad that they're looking at the habitat size for polar bears and are going to update it at some point because I just don't like the gigantic habitat and I didn't want to disable animal welfare. Yeah, so like I said, pretty short time lapse today. So let's go ahead and jump into the real time gameplay and take a look at the habitat. Okay, and so here we are. This is the habitat and you can see I actually removed uh, the building here that I started building in the time lapse uh, just because I realized there's no point in finishing it because I'm going to redo it anyway. Uh, you can see a little bit back here in their shelter that I made. Again, this isn't like finalized. The rocks need a lot of adjustments made. But you can see like kind of like the idea that I was going for. It's covered in snow. I tried to do like these little dirt paths to sort of simulate where the bears may like walk because you know animals tend to walk like in the same place all the time but I mean as far as the bears themselves go I mean they look amazing like just look how awesome they look coming in here to uh, get a little get a little rest on we've got a male and a female in here this is Ikeak Ikeak and who do we have? attack sack <laughs> probably totally butchering that but yeah so you know like i was saying in the time lapse I'm probably going to redo this i actually uh read the forum post that i referenced uh after i re had recorded the time lapse and the update is actually coming this week as a, as of as of the time that i'm recording this uh, so my luck, it's probably going to be right after I've recorded this episode. So hopefully by the next episode, we'll have a nice new update. They said uh, it's actually going to be reduced from 12,000 to 6,000, which is way more manageable. Like I said, our current this current habitat is just over 7,500, I believe. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, it's actually pretty pretty close to the minimum it's 11 11 000 right now i forgot i actually expanded it back here it used to come up about right here and kind of curve around so i extended this whole back part here which made it a little bit bigger um so yeah like i said it's it's a shame that you know i didn't get it completed in this episode like i wanted to i wish that they had I had seen that forum post before I started designing it because then I could have just designed the habitat in mind with you know the update that's going to be coming out soon but we'll probably work on it during a live stream I mentioned my twitch channel quite a bit if you don't know I stream on the weekends over on my twitch channel the link is always down below and we we've been doing planet zoo pretty much since it has released so we'll we'll be working on this again during the live stream and like i said we're gonna do like a little arctic area over here we have right here we have the timber wolves i'm thinking we'll probably actually release these guys to the wild and put the new arctic wolf in here uh, oh we got a little cub there's also a bug it appears with like getting all these notifications about information boards and speakers being incorrectly placed i have no idea what that means because there it looks it looks correctly placed to me i don't know i think that's a bug so hopefully that'll get uh that'll get squashed in the upcoming update as well uh we did do in the last live stream we did a whole lot of detailing down here by the elephants so we moved the Chinese pangolins over here we added because they used to be in this habitat so we moved them there and then here we have red pandas yay red pandas <laughs> and oh one just actually had offspring 
we finished out, we detailed the bridge going over the orangutans. And then yeah, we just worked on this little kind of area quite a bit. Just adding a whole lot of detail. We added a gulpy and a restroom block because we realized we didn't have any guest services over here, or guest facilities. I really like this sort of kind of ramp going over to the rhino habitat. I think it's kind of neat. We walk over and then we have just like a really cool rhino habitat, which was the last episode. But yeah. I mean, that, that's pretty much where we are. Like I said, it's a shame that I'm going to have to basically redo the polar bear habitat, but in the end, it'll look even better than it does now. And, you know, we still have the, we have the reindeer to add. I already mentioned the Arctic wolf, and then there's the doll sheep, which we'll be adding as well. So that'll be like our little Arctic kind of corner. Uh, which also brings me uh, to the name of the area. I, I kind of like giving my, you know, th like themed areas names. Uh, you know, we have Frontier Falls, we have Heart of Asia. Uh, I was thinking of either doing like, uh, I was thinking like Alpine uh, Point or Alpine Cove or something like that for our Arctic area. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think of either of those or if you have your own ideas as well. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here if you guys you know if you want to see more of the Arctic pack I did do a review overview video if you haven't seen it So definitely go check that out and uh, yeah, so as always be sure to leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below I am 8-Bit Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya